What's up world? Let me tell you about this beer growth oil I got from 12 tribes on earth. Eight ounces of oily goodness with a nozzle that prevents sprays and spills and soft ingredients that make it perfect addition to anyone's morning routine. From coconut to castor, all these oils are hand chosen. After using this herbal blend, the biggest thing I noticed is how soft, how strong my hair was and how good I feel. Pick up your bottle today and make your beard the star of the show. I posed a question to chat GBT, and that is, is there a superior race? Because let's face it, there are those that try to lie and say they are superior and you're not superior. You know, there is nothing written in ancient history all the way up into modern day history that says anything about a superior race. So the people that walk around and say this, you've made it up. Just like all of your advantages are made up. So, so what else do we expect from those same people? Just some more made up stuff. So I'm going to let you hear chat GPT's answer to that question. No, there is no such thing as a superior race. The idea of a superior race is scientifically false, morally dangerous, and historically destructive. Here's why. 1. Science says race is a social construct. Genetically, all humans are over 99.9% .9 identical regardless of skin color or ethnicity. What we call race is based on external traits like skin tone, hair texture, or facial features, but not intelligence, morality, or ability. The Human Genome Project and countless genetic studies confirm that there is more variation within so-called races than between them. 2. Intelligence and behavior are not linked to race. Intelligence is influenced by environment, education, nutrition, and opportunity, not racial background. Attempts to link race and IQ have been thoroughly debunked and are rooted in eugenics and white supremacist pseudoscience. Different cultures develop different strengths, but diversity is a strength, not a hierarchy. 3. The idea of a superior race has caused genocide. Historically, the belief in racial superiority has led to the Holocaust, Nazi Germany's Aryan supremacy ideology, transatlantic slave trade, and centuries of anti-black racism. Colonialism, which justified the exploitation of Africa, Asia, and the Americas. Jim Crow laws, apartheid, ethnic cleansing, and mass incarceration. The idea has been used not to uplift, but to dominate, enslave, and dehumanize others. 4. Every race has contributed to civilization, Africa, birthplace of humanity, math, medicine, architecture, for example, Egypt, Mali. No race owns civilization. No race owns greatness. 5. Racism is learned, not natural. Children don't see races as better or worse. They learn that from adults and media. The idea of racial superiority is a tool of division, often to justify power and exploitation.
Conclusion There is no superior race, only different peoples shaped by history, culture, and environment. What makes us human is our shared dignity, diversity, and capacity to grow, love, and learn. Belief in racial superiority is not just wrong, it's a lie that has cost millions of lives. So, that is the chat GPT answer, and I agree with it. You know, why would the Most High make the last people that showed up on Earth superior? That, that doesn't even make any sense. It would make more sense if it was the first people to be on the Earth. They would be actually be the strongest. By the time you get to the last people, everything is weakened. I'm just saying. So no, I, I don't believe even the people saying it. You will never convince me that you're a superior race. And like I said, there's nothing in written history. There's nothing written in the Bible saying that there is a superior race because they don't go by race. It, it never, the Bible don't go by race at all. That's how you know all of that is made up stuff just to give you some unearned advantage. So, and we know in ancient history, nobody went by race. That racism is pretty uh, modern. It, it's not ancient, it's definitely modern. And it's all made up crap. So y'all, do you agree with the answer that came from chat GPT? Let me know in the comment section. You know what to do. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.